All right, you guys, this is Beaver. His registered name is MBJ's Mighty Beaver. You can, Kyle, come on. Sorry. We call him Beaver. He is AQHA registered. This little horse is fantastic if you're looking for something that you want to day work on. He also had some professional barrel training and he um, is ready to go exhibition if you're wanting a barrel horse. This is a horse that you guys can take and you can team rope off of. Here, let's tie him up, brush him, and then we'll put his blanket on and load him. So he is a fantastic horse for those of you looking for something that does know the barrels. Um, we've taken him trail riding. He crosses the water. We have lots of videos of him doing that. Um, I can't say enough good things, honestly, about this horse. He's been here a long time. So if you're looking for something you can take and rope off of on the hillside, or if you're wanting something that you can go run barrels on, or if you're just a trail rider, this horse would be fantastic. He really thoroughly enjoyed going to Tarrant Ranch. Um, Tylen was able to ride him across all the water. I think he was probably the very best trail horse we took. So even though he does have the ability to be a performance horse, if that's what you want, we found that he absolutely loved trail riding. He was so good and he crossed all the water and went up and down all of the mountains and he was just really brave and nothing bothered him. He is not a spooky horse. He's not jumpy. He's a really fantastic horse. He's got great trailer manners. He stands really good at the trailer. He loads in and out. Fantastic. I just want you guys to definitely see that he is something that if you maybe you're not um, an advanced horseman and you're needing something really gentle and quiet, this is a super good horse. And again, if you day work, he will work a rope. You can um, heal off of him if you want and he was started on the barrels. And I do have a video of Stephanie Fryer, who's been to the NFR. He was over at Corbin's in training. Stephanie cruised him through, just nice and easy. So just a super nice horse. Um, we've never had any issues. Him and Lena get to playing, and he's got a little bite mark on him. But him and Lena get to play him pretty hard out there in the arena. And don't forget, you guys, you guys can order all of your Benefab products directly through us. Um, we are a dealer for Benefab. You can order your blankets. You can order the hoods, all of your wraps. So um, please remember that if you're needing to place a Benefab order, just to reach out, I can sit down and get your order placed for you, no problem. Yeah, he's a fantastic horse, but he's really easy to be around. We've never had any major issues with him at all. He's always just been a quiet horse. Um, he used to really not like a back cinch, but tylan has been riding him in a back cinch, and he got right over that, so that was a great thing. So. Will you pick up all four of his feet real quick? We'll do that and then, then we can move on. That way you guys can see he's fantastic. He's good enough to pick his feet up. And he rides in anything. tylan has been riding him in a war bridle, but if you're wanting to ride him in something else, that's always um, an option. He rides in a D-ring snaffle. He rides in a squirt. I really like him if you're going to do performance horse stuff. I really like the way he rides in a squirt, but, but again, he's just a really good horse with great manners. He does like to 
Jesus. go up and give him something you can, no problem. Just really an unproblematic horse. Oh, I'm getting up off the ground. This horse is always loaded and hauled really well. He's like, so where are we going? Yeah. Let you guys and we'll back him out so y'all can see that he's super easy. He doesn't rush out of the trailer. He doesn't. You never have to worry that he's going to. Stop him right there and let's tie his tail. Whoa. Yep, tie his tail. I don't want him to step on it. Whoa, beef. Sorry, you guys. I just never like them to step on their tail, and he was fixing to. He's like, what are you asking of me? Just so you guys know, this is something I'm a stickler about. You should never load your horse in the trailer if their tail is below their back ankles. Really, honestly, if it's even anywhere near the back ankles, and I'll tell you why. Um, if you do, and they step in it, a lot of these horses will jump back forward, and then you can create an issue where horses won't want to back out of the trailer because they associate backing out of the trailer with stepping on their tail. So under no circumstances should you ever ask a horse to drop their butt and back out of the trailer without having their tail out of the way. Um, you can do like Thailand's doing here and do a box knot and just box knot it and then take it out as soon as you get them out. Or you can, um, you know, do yourself a favor and just keep your tails braided and in bags. It's just completely up to you. But now watch when this horse backs out. See now his tail is not in, in the way. When he was backing out before, if you replay this video, he was about to step on it every step. And if you have a horse that takes big steps, you can accidentally get them to where they step on it. All right, you guys. All right, you guys. We'll take Beaver back in the barn and pick him up. You can go back to the barn with him. He's super unproblematic. He's a great performance horse candidate if you're looking for something to run barrels on or to team rope off of or if you just day work. And honestly, some of you older ladies that are looking for a forever trail horse, Beaver is eight years old. He's AQHA registered and he would love to be somebody's trail partner. He would love that. This horse is not spooky. He does not get fresh. 
waited for Tylen to walk him in the stall right there. Alright you guys, that's Beaver.